What's up, YouTube gamers? Young Soul dropping another video. I know it's been a while, but uh, I got a new issue to talk about here. Uh, we just got the update for the uh, PS4 4.0, which added in HDR, high dynamic range, um, to get crisper colors, deeper blacks, brighter colors, etc., etc., and there's been a lot of uh, confusion and a lot of uh, arguments and a lot of people claiming that this is just some small part HDR, what have you. What you're looking on the screen is not HDR, by the way. Um, as of right now, there I don't believe there are any PS4 games out with HDR. Um, so this is just some uh, old gameplay. Um, but uh, the the arg there's been arguments mainly from uh, the 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 fans of the other console, uh, or I should say the fanboys of the other console, that say that PS4 can't do HDR, can't do high dynamic, uh, what is it, high dynamic range imaging, um, because both the P vanilla PS4 and the vanilla Xbox One come with HDMI 1.4, and 1.4 is not capable of doing a true HDR, only HDMI 2.0 can do full HDR. Well, what if I told you Sony was already already had that in the PS4? Okay? What if I told you that it's possible and I would say even probable that Sony had this already in the PS4, the the, the HDMI 2.0 chipset already in the PS4. Okay? Well, Here's where here's where I take you uh, take you down here and tell me in the comment section if this makes sense or is this completely out of bounds? I think this makes perfect sense. Um, and that is if you look right here and I'm gonna put the links I, as usual. I want nobody to believe me just because I'm saying it. I want you to go look at what I'm putting forth. Links will be in the description. Of everything. Look and see if what I'm saying makes sense to you. If it doesn't, put that in the comment section. If it does, let me know that too. But here's what I'm saying. I'm taking you right now. Let me real quick pull up the information. If you take a look, I'm sorry. If you take a look at your screen right now, you'll see that on September 4th, 2013, Sony updated their their x9 4k tvs with hdmi 2.0 basically it said that they were able to do so via a firmware update okay essentially the sony x9 4k tvs were originally released launched i should say launched with hdmi 1.4 that supports 4k resolution up to 30 hertz Sony says the X9 will soon support 4K up to 60 Hz with the update to HDMI 2.0. The firmware is naturally free. My point is, <clears throat> follow follow what I'm saying now. If Sony, now keep in mind, this was written in early September, September 4, 2013, for TVs that were already in people's homes. Okay, the, the X9 4K TV was out prior, <clears throat> excuse me, prior to the, the this article being written already had hdmi 2.0 designed in the device from launch but just needed a firmware update so that means when the tech designers sorry the tech engineers i'm sorry were putting the the you know the different pieces of tech into this tv when they were designing it they put this already in hdmi 2.0 they then made a prototype, then made, you know, take, took it to manufacturing to be made on a larger scale, then, sh you know, shipped to stores, bought by customers, then in customers' homes. Which means they would have had to do this back in whatever February, March, April-ish in order for the design to be finished, it to be, you know, uh, uh, um, mass produced and then mass shipped and then bought by consumers by september 4th the, the the writing of this article so you're saying early early uh 2013 
Now, would it not, doesn't it just seem logical that if Sony was doing this for their TVs and designing this into their TVs in early 2013, they weren't also doing it for their biggest tech release of 2013, the PS4? Because remember, we all know Sony loves to have their devices being able to mesh well with each other, meaning using similar technology. Okay, they had the, for instance, they had the PS3 be able to do 3D. They also had a TV that did 3D. You know, they, they, now 3D was a failure in at, at the home level, but I'm talking about, you know, the fact that they like to put their devices, you know, similar with each other, put similar tech. So it stands the reason that Sony would probably, you know what I'm saying, probably have this tech if they have it in their TVs and they have it and they have a console that they want hooked up to TVs it would stand a reason that they would have the same type of tech inside their PS4 meaning PS4 HDMI 1.4 with the 2.0 chipset already in there for a later firmware update which is exactly what Sony announced for the uh, PS4 4.0 um, update a firmware update for HD HDR high dynamic range so let me know what you think in the comment section because I'm hearing a lot of people say PS4 can't do it because they only have HDMI 1.4 as if Sony wasn't already forward-thinking now again this doesn't have this is not this article um, doesn't have PS4 in there I'm just saying Sony tech engineers Highly unlikely they'll they'd be that forward thinking on their TVs and then say, "Do you want to put that in your PS4?" Uh, you know, my argument is they at least thought about it with their PS4, and I argue and I contend that it's more than likely that they did it with their PS4 since they were already doing it with their TVs. Let me know what you think about in the comment section, and I'll holler back. Peace.